The file library contains all of your project files, serving as an automatic content archive for all that you do in Project Site. It is powered by Trimble Connect, a cloud-based storage system, which you can learn more about in another lesson in this course. Using the file library and Trimble Connect, you can not only access documents and other assets, but also open 3D models of your project that can link to your project records. To access the file library from your project dashboard, click on the file library button in the left panel. Or if you want to go directly to the 3D models within the file library, click on the expansion arrow and select models. In this example, you will be accessing the main file library. Clicking on the file library will take you to the main page where you can see the folder tree in the left panel. Right now you can see that the highest level of the folder tree, the project, is automatically selected. And all of the folders or documents within the selected level appear in the main panel. You can use the search drop downs to quickly locate folders or records within the selected level. A triangle next to an item in the folder tree means that there are subfolders within. Click on the triangle to reveal the subfolders or on the item itself to load the subfolders in the main panel. The download icon will allow you to download all documents within the selected folder into a zipped file. Be careful, depending on the folder and its size, this can take a while and create a large file. Click the Add button to create subfolders or to upload files into the folder. In this case, you've clicked on the Project Site Documents folder, which is a special folder under which all project documents are automatically stored. When a new document is uploaded to a project item, Project Site will automatically place it in the correct folder or create a new folder and store it there. To open a document in the file library, first open the folder and subfolder where the document is located. Click on the file in the left panel, which will load it in the main panel. Click on the tick box to view additional information about the document in the right panel. You can edit the information and add a comment if appropriate. Click on the See History link to view various versions of the document. Click on the name or click View to open and view the document. Note that when opening a document in the file library, Project Site will automatically launch the correct viewing application. For instance, this document is a PDF, so it will open in the PDF viewer. If this were a Word or Excel document, Project Site would have launched the appropriate Microsoft 365 extension. Also, if the document exists in Trimble Connect, Project Site will automatically launch Trimble Connect. This document is opened in the Project Site PDF viewer with zoom and image controls as well as multiple annotation tools to mark up the document. Click the expansion menu icon to download save as, or print the document. When you are finished viewing or modifying the document, click Done to return to the file library. Note that any time you annotate, add a comment, or modify the document in the file library, Project Site will create a new version. The latest version is the one you will see when you view it in the file library, but you can access previous versions using the See History button as shown earlier in this video. To create a new file folder from the file library page, first select the parent folder within which you want the new folder to reside. Click Add in the upper right and select Create Folder from the drop down menu. The Create Folder window will open where you can give the folder a name and click Submit. The new folder will appear in the folder tree. You may not want all project users to have access to the folder. Project Site allows you to restrict access to only certain individuals or groups by assigning permissions to the new folder. In this example, you will allow access only to the project administrators group. To assign permissions to the folder, select the folder, then click on the expansion menu icon in the upper right 
and select Permissions. The Folder Permissions window will open, where you can select the default level of access for all project members. In this case, you will select No Access, and then provide access to specific members and groups below. To do this, begin typing in the Search field and select from the options in the drop-down. Note that you can select multiple members and groups in this field. The selected members or groups will appear below, where you can assign specific access, full, read-only, or no access. Decide whether you want these permissions to apply to the folder and its subfolder or just to the parent folder. When you have made these entries and selections, click Save to assign the folder permissions. A green success message will confirm the assignment. You may want to share a file library folder or item with someone, either on the project or not. This is easily done. First, locate the containing folder in the folder tree and click on it. Select the item or items in the main panel, which will open details and options in the right panel. Click on the share icon, which will open the share data window, where you can choose a sharing option. There are three levels of options or sharing. Specific members of the project, that means project site users who have been invited to the project, Signed in users with the link, which would be people who are signed into Project Site, whether they are part of the project or not. Finally, any users with the link. This means external contacts who may not be Project Site account holders or users, essentially anyone to whom you send the link. Enter all or part of a name or an email address in the searchable field and select the person or persons with whom to share. Add a note if appropriate, and after reviewing your entries and selections, click Share. The selected person or persons will receive an email with a link to the item. Note that the permissions of the folder or containing items will override the sharing preferences. Only persons with the correct permissions will be available for sharing. To access 3D models from your project dashboard, Click on the expansion arrow in the File Library tab and select Models. From the File Library, you can also click on the 3D Models tab in the folder tree and all of the available models and associated documents will appear in the main panel. Use the tick box to select a model and the information about the model will appear in the right panel. You can edit the information by clicking on the Edit icon. You can add a comment with links, if appropriate, or see the history of the model. To view the model, click on the file name in the main panel or select View in the right panel. The model will open in Trimble Connect within the 3D Model Viewer with an interactive image in the main panel. You can use your mouse and mouse wheel to zoom and rotate the model with a corresponding orientation key in the lower right in case you get disoriented. Use the Reset Model button to return to the original view and orientation. The upper toolbar contains multiple manipulation and annotation tools and you can hover over each one to see what they do. The Model panel shows the model file being displayed and you can click on the expansion triangle next to the file name to uncover additional levels and elements of the model. Click on an element and that element will be highlighted on the model as well as opening a new toolbar to manage that element. The side toolbar offers multiple tools to annotate, organize, and link items to the model. Hover your mouse over any icon to see what it does. Note that the 3D Model Viewer and many of its collaboration features are covered in greater detail in the Trimble Connect lesson of this course.